Hello all and welcome to a, another pickups video and it's been a while since I've done one of these but we've got three piles of games to show you and an eBay purchase. We've got a PS3 game, a couple of PS2, a couple of DS, some Xbox One and plenty of Xbox 360 games of course but apart from the games we do have a couple of gaming related pieces to show you which aren't games and that brings me on to what you've been staring at on screen this whole time and that is this fantastic t-shirt design of Chun Li. Yes, I bought a t shirt with Chun Li on it. It's from a company called Cloud7, and I've bought one of these before in a previous pickups video. You may have seen it, and that was a blanker, which to me, the blank one was the best one they, they did, which is why I bought that one there and then. But they do do all of the other Street Fighter characters, I believe. And I see the Chun Li one as well, and I thought that's absolutely fantastic. I've got to have that one day, and that one day has happened. So I picked this up off Amazon for £15.95 delivered as a little bit of a treat to myself, a bit of an early Christmas present to myself. Absolutely love it. And I will probably buy some of the other characters at a later date as well, as long as they keep making them, because they are really nice t shirts as well. Good quality too fantastic feel to them and as i say they're just absolutely amazing t-shirts so we've got blanco already and now we have chun li and if you actually go to their proper website i do believe you can actually mess around with the color schemes as well generally on amazon you're buying from individual sellers and they've got whatever color available but this was the color scheme i wanted of chun li so i picked that one up and that's absolutely fantastic and the other gaming related piece which isn't a game also bought off Amazon, and that is this Funko Pop of Kitana, which kind of completes a mini set of buying one of each main in Funko Pop format for the three big fighting games. I've got a row of Street Fighter. I have a Nina Williams of Tekken, and my Mortal Kombat main from obviously 2 onwards was Kitana, and I now have one of those. A little bit of a story behind it. I basically ended up finally picking it up because I bought something else of Amazon which isn't gaming related, and they spend, they said spend a further £3.99 and get free postage. So I had a look around for, for what I wanted, and I thought, oh yes, I want that Kitana Funko Pop to have a main of each. And I picked her up for £8.50, so... Another four quid basically saved through postage and then spending an extra £4.50 meant I finally got her. And if you've seen these before, you know I like to open these so and have them on display. So let's let's just open the box up and have a little unboxing here and now. Get rid of the cardboard bit. Let's put the plastic here. There she is doing a bit of a nosedive. Uh, comes with a little base there, but we're not going to mess about with that now because I might take forever to get it on there. But there we go, a little Funko Pop of Katana. And yes, very good quality, very good quality, holding our little fans there, fantastic. Let's have a look at the back, ponytail, little hairband complete as well. So yes, a nice little Funko Pop, I'll pop that on the stand, she can go next to the other two. And we've got all my mains for, for fighting games in a Funko format, and I tell you what, we're going to leave her just over here, and we'll have a little bit of a co-host going on. So let's crack on with the first game and show you that, and that is an eBay purchase, the only eBay purchase and that is Dynasty Warriors 8 for the Xbox 360. And I saw it on there and they were selling it for £1.50 with a pound of postage. And I thought that was worth a little initial bid because I did my homework. I just checked on CEX quickly what price they were selling it for. And they were selling it for £3.50 in CEX at time of purchase. So I thought... Well, I'm going to save a quid, and of course, it is complete in box with manual. They had it all laid out on screen for me. We've got a little bit of a curl on the manual there, but that's not a big issue, to be honest with you. At least it's in there. So I thought for what is essentially buying this for £2.50, £1.50, £1 postage, I'm going to save a quid on what CEX would sell it to me for. So we're going to move on to three days out, and day out one wasn't very productive in quantity the charity shops didn't turn up too much however one charity shop did turn up a little bit of a bargain for me and a little bit of trade value because that is where this will be going and that is a ps3 game and the ps3 game is up this came from the heart foundation and normally they sell all their games for £2.99 but this was priced up up, up at £1.29 no pun intended when I said price up and it does have the manual in there, it has the disc in there, but this will be traded into CEX because CEX actually sell this for six quid, I believe, and they will give you trading for three pounds. So it's a nice little double up of my money plus a little bit more. And that was literally the only game from a charity shop from that day out. But I didn't nip into CEX quickly and buy a couple of pieces. 
I was on a bit of a racing game purge for my journey to 1 million gamer score series and this didn't actually make the video but while I was in there I did nip pick up a copy of this MotoGP 090010 010, season and of course what I do is I do actually look in the boxes see if I've got the manual in there now and generally don't take a risk when I'm in CEX and that is a really crisp crisp manual as well actually it's almost fresh off the print there but yeah saw that for £1.50 and when I see cheap games in CEX now I'm pretty much going to nab them when it comes to the 360 so yes I nabbed a copy of MotoGP 09 slash 10 season and the only other game I picked up that day from CEX was Blaze Blue Calamity Trigger now I do have another Blaze Blue game for the Xbox 360 which I didn't didn't enjoy as much as I hoped I would have so I hope this plays a little bit differently and maybe I'll, I'll enjoy it a bit more but I'm always going to give any fighting game a go and as you'll see it's completely boxed with manual as well another fantastic condition manual as well as well as good quality discs I do check now before I leave a lot of the time and yes just a really nice condition game as well to say another fighting game I'm a big fighting game fan so yes I will get around to trying at some point and uh, yes I do look forward to it and hopefully it's not as uh, not as I don't want to say bad because it wasn't a bad game or just was not as similar as the other Blaze Blue game that I bought. Okay, so next up we have another day out and some charity shops and a PS2 game. We've got Rayman M and this comes complete in box with manual. This was, we're missing a clip up here though. That's a, that's a shame, but that's not too detrimental to... The purposes of what I want, and yes, Rayman M. They only 50p. Ignore that. It wasn't from CEX. It's obviously obviously some old labels. That's from one of my favourite charity shops who turn up a lot of good stuff for me. As I say, so I only pay 50p for it. In CEX, they'll charge you two pound and give you 70p trade in for it. But this will probably be moved on to a fellow collector rather than be traded in. Uh, that was the only item from that particular charity shop. I went into another one, I got two more games for 50p, one of those was also a PS2 game, and that is a rally game I've never heard of, and that is Rally Championship. So yes, don't know an awful lot about this one, never heard of it, obviously we've all heard of Colin McRae's and the V rallies, but it's complete in boxing manual, and I'm going to have a little go of this, but I probably won't keep this in the long run, this will be moved on, I already have someone in mind to give this to, I'm pretty sure they don't have it. Um, I was checking an old list of theirs that they sent me once upon a time, but I don't believe you have it, Sean, and if you want it, this will be on its way to you. But I'm probably going to have a little go at it first and give it a little play, just because, as I say, we all know about Colin McRae and V-Rally, so it's just be nice to try something a little bit different as well. And I say this was only 50p as well, and CX sell it for 2 quid and trade in for 60p, so I can make 10p trading as well, as well as save on the sale price. But it's going to be moved on to a friend of mine, no doubt. And the other game I picked up from that charity shop is really nothing special. It was just, I, do you know what, I don't have it. CEX only sell it for 50p. They give no trade on it at all. But by saying no trade, I mean a penny. Um, we've got a manual in there, which is in good condition, apart from being attacked by a game at some point in its life. And I'm a sticker slapped on the front, thank you. But a nice quality disc as well. And it's just getting one crossed off the extensive list of games that I need for the full set of 360. And that isn't the only game to go from that day out at a charity shop, actually. We do also have Crisis 3. This is a game I do actually already own. I say the one I have upstairs doesn't have a manual, but it's missing this white sheet, which isn't really much of a manual, and a disc there. Uh, I think my box has got a slight crack in it as well, so basically this is an upgrade for me. This was one that actually still has its price on from the cherry shop, from Scope. This one was only 50p, so the disc is literally, it's like near mint as well, so it's just a bit of an upgrade for me. I mean, if I was to trade it in, CX would give me 80p for it, and they would sell it to me for £2.50, so I have made a nice little saving there. And talking of CEX, a couple of games 
purchased from that day. First one up is when I was buying all those racing games as well, but never got around to playing it. Just picking up a quick copy of Formula One 2011, I believe. This, yes, the stickers are covering it on the front there. Formula One 2011, as I say, when I'm in CX, do actually check that they have the manuals in the box already, then rather than take a gamble at the counter. So, Formula One 2011 for a quid. And then another game which is cheap as well, a 50p. And I think I saw this on Lewis Wishwash's channel and when he said he picked it up for 50p for CEX. So it made me want to keep an eye out for it when I go in there and keep an eye out for it. I did fantastic condition manual with discs and only 50 pence. So a real bargain there. Now, a lot of the time I go to game as well and just have a nose around and there ain't an awful lot in there. And I was generally leave with nothing when I go there. However, I had to look at the Xbox One stuff. And they had a load of buy one, get one free pre-owned stuff. So, thought I'd give that a little bit of an attack, actually, because there's actually some good purchases there. So, I looked through them, and I saw a few 99p ones. I left a basketball game behind. However, I did pick up for 99p, buy one, get one free. So, we've got this game here, which is Pro Evolution Soccer 2015. We shall milk some game score out of that, which is why I was attracted to that one and then the other 99p game i got was titanfall so i'm essentially buying these for 50p each so yes got a couple of xbox one games from game for 50p each but i didn't just leave with those two the funny thing about it is i bought four but i had to buy them two separate lots because they were picking up the two expensive ones and give trying to give me 99p ones for free so he said if i run these through separately you'll get four pound 99 one for free and a 99p one for free because it's expensive one expensive one is the one that you pay for and you get the cheapest one free so buying the same price that is the maths for you <laughs> anyway so the two four pound 99 games are writing a wrong i have been missing this physical copy for my collection for ages and it's just a basic copy of gears of war ultimate edition for the xbox one i own it digitally or i have played it a lot via owning game pass should i say so it was just nice to have this and look game you didn't actually throw the insides away which you normally always do now so i've got all the little bits of paper in there as well so that means a lot to me so thank you very much so yes that was four pound 99 for gears of war ultimate edition and writing a wrong from the collection and they must have had multiple copies of this because i haven't got one with all stickers plastered over it and they whips it out from the drawer. But this was priced up as £4.99 as well. As I say, finding one for the same price to maximise my discount as much. I thought, you know, I've never played a Star Wars Battlefront game. So I'll pick up Star Wars Battlefront as well as the other £4.99 game. And they didn't chuck the inserts away on this one as well. So maybe it's old stock. I don't know. But it's nice to have it all in there as well. So it's actually fully complete as well. So yes, we've got four Xbox One games from game. And these two were £4.99. Well, they were priced up at £4.99 each, but buy one, get one free. So essentially buying them for £2.50 each. So really pleased with that. We are on to the final pile of games. And the last day out that I had. And the first cherry shop, my favourite cherry shop, chucked up a couple of DS games for CEX fodder. Honestly, I don't want to play these. Trust me. <laughs> first up we have is tangled for the ds and this is a five pound game in cex with three pound trading and as you'll see i only paid 50 pence for it uh got manual in there as well as obviously the game so got tangled there that's going in for trading as well as disney princess magical jewels more trading this is a good one as well for trading value cex actually sell this for eight quid and will give trading for four pounds as well so we've got some nice trading markup on two ds games there and a really good markup on this disney princess game so that is absolutely fantastic so before we left all the charity shops we did pick up a couple of more games from them and from that same charity shop as well we did leave with one xbox 360 game and that is viva pinata trouble in paradise now i do kind of own this it's in a bundle box with forza horizon 2 but this is the standard individual copy the game has decided to go a little bit rogue there and fall out can you get you back in there please but as I say, I don't own it standalone, which is nice to have. But it's just got everything in it by the looks of it. We've got a guide there, a child safety online thing, a little bit of extra white paperwork there. And this little card here, which is a little bit random. 
don't know why that's in there or what that is. Maybe it's just a card. I don't know. But it's nice to have it in there. Just fully complete in in, uh, in box copy of the game. So, yes. And if I was, was to trade it in at CX, which I won't because I'll keep it as an individual copy, they'll give me £1.60 credit and they sell it for four quid. So, for 50p, this is a little bit of a saving. I do have two more charity shop games to show you first but i just want to whip this one out of the way quickly because i don't want to end on a fifa game but i went into game and that buy one get one free section had a few more games in it and they had fifa 15 in there for just 20p so i thought for 20p i'm going to get it into the collection but they did their thing that they did with star wars battlefront they went into the draw and pulled out another copy which they had behind the counter so i haven't got any stickers on this one to show you that it was 20p but trust me hand on heart it was but what they did is when they pulled it out, they pulled out this Ultimate Team Edition Balance 1. But it needs to have paperwork in it for the Ultimate Team, and it's not there. So it's pretty much just box art. But for 20p, I just thought, do you know what? I'll just buy it and get it in the collection. Because if I'm going to get a collection at some point, I'm going to need all the FIFA games. And 20p is nothing to pay. So anyway, Cherry Shop final purchases. I uh, lost out a little bit of money on one of them, definitely. And that was Max Payne 3. Again, this was from the Heart Foundation, which I said earlier, charged £2.99 for a lot of their games. These two games that I'm going to show you now were both 2 99 and from the Heart Foundation. Max Payne 3 is only a £1.50 game in CX with a trade in a 40p, but I've already got this as well, and I picked it up for 99p back then, and the box is absolutely cracked to pieces, and I think the manual is damaged as well. But the good thing about this is, obviously the box in this is actually mint, but these boxes are a little bit more tricky to find because they do the two disc with the flap in the middle as opposed to have two discs on one spindle or a disc each side. But fantastic condition manual as well, so the manual's an upgrade. The discs are absolutely... What convinced me to buy it is pulling out both discs and have a look at them. And they are absolutely pure mint. They are scratch-free. So I thought, do you know what? For £2.99, even got this little sticker on the front as well. So just everything is so complete about it. Everything's so mint about it. Box, discs, manual, the lot. And I just thought, do you know what? It's three quid and it's going to charity. Not a big issue. I'm going to buy that all day long. And the last game that I bought from them is a game which is the same price in CEX. In fact, it's a penny saving, so any saving is good, huh? CX sell this game, Battleship, for £3. You're trading for £1.20. And this probably came from the same person who uh, gave in Max Payne 3 because, again, manual, fresh off the print, disc, turn it over. It's absolutely minty as hell. Absolutely, it's completely 100%. Scratch 3. And game I don't see about a lot as well, to be honest with you. I see Midway Battle Stations as well, which I think I own. and But I've never seen Battleship. So I had to have it, basically. <laughs> I had to have it. As I say, it was going, money was going to cherry anyway. Turned out to be the same price on CEX. So happy days. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is what I've picked up recently. And probably going to be my last pickups video of the year. So I'm really pleased with what I have and yes, there's some good stuff here, some good trading value to be had. We have good time over here, so thanks for being a co-host once you were out of the box. And I think this just leaves me to say I hope you liked the video. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, take care.